It's probably one of the most selfless acts one human can do for another. We're talking organ donation, and South Carolina is stepping in to do what it can to better protect the rights of donors. A bipartisan effort is being championed by Charleston Congresswoman Nancy Mace and State Representative for Berkeley and Dorchester Counties, Joseph Jefferson, Jr. It is so good to see you both. Good to be here. And thank you for, for having me on today. Absolutely. Congresswoman, maybe you could tell us a little bit more about H.R. 1255, better known as the Living Donor Protection Act of 2021. Right. Well, at the federal level, this is legislation that we're working on in a bipartisan manner. Imagine that. This is great, great progress we're seeing in D.C., but people are offering up their organs to save lives, and they're being left behind without health care. And so the question is, what can we do to protect those individuals who are giving literally a piece of a part of themselves to save somebody else's life. And we want to ensure this legislation that donors don't, they, that they will not lose their jobs for taking time off to say, for instance, donate a kidney, for example, to somebody in need. We want to make sure that uh, this legislation prohibits a life or health insurance company from discriminating against an organ or tissue donor. And so these are just are small parts that can make a really big difference when it comes to saving the lives, lives of others, uh, not only in South Carolina, but across the country as well. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Representative Jefferson, so it's kind of hard to even imagine that someone would have to fear losing their job for making such a selfless act. Um, you yourself, uh, you have raised your hand and said, I will be a donor as well. Maybe you can tell us more about that. Well, first of all, you've got to have some degree of um, humanity in doing this. And of course, the, the need is always great. And of course, uh, I found out years ago that if there's any group of people that's really in need of kidney transplants, um, donors, uh, it, is, it is the African-American community. Uh, it is startling to me that there's so many of us who are sick. And of course, this is really, really uh, noticeable during this pandemic, uh, the amount of people who are sick uh, if, if there's anything that we have learned is the fact that as a result of this pandemic, there's so many people have died as a result of poor health care. And of course, uh, we all know that in South Carolina, we've been trying to get the Medicaid Expansion Act passed for some time. So maybe this is a godsend. Maybe now we will be able to see something done. But I can't help but applaud uh, the donors as well as the recipients, but more specifically, the donors, because they're the ones who have to remain in the hospitals almost as long as the recipients. So ultimately, we want to make sure that they're going to receive the same kinds of, of uh, welcoming back, if you will, to their uh, jobs once they have donated their kidney or whatever the case might be without any repercussions or not being terminated as a result. And this is what we're trying to do. Absolutely. And Congresswoman, South Carolina does a pretty good job at registering organ donors. Nearly two and a half million people have that heart symbol on their driver's licenses. More than 1,200 South Carolinians waiting for a life-saving transplant. So, so the, the need is there. People are answering that call. Uh, part of this legislation it also refers to some life insurance uh, questions because there are possibilities that these life insurance companies will deny someone a policy based off of the fact that they have made a donation, which is, again, very hard to imagine. Right. And we want to make sure with this legislation that we that Oregon donors are not discriminated against when it comes to life or health insurance. Um, and so that's one of the provisions within this bipartisan legislation. And then in terms of disability insurance as well, so should someone become debilitated, how does this protect them? Right. Well, that's that's the whole point of it is to put these protections in to protect them uh, from being discriminated and their insurance policies as well. But also the other thing that this legislation does is it protects them from losing their jobs. So someone shouldn't lose their job because they're an organ donor. Yeah, most definitely. How many other states right now currently have this protection? South Carolina, uh, not too far behind, it sounds like. Right. I'm not sure. Yeah. Joe might know the answer to that based on the, our state level legislation, what other states are doing. All right. Let, let me let me ask uh, Representative Joe. Yeah. What we've just done, we've just done some research and we're finding out that it has not been introduced in the state of South Carolina yet. But uh, I have called and it is now being researched. And yes, it wasn't, but it will be. Unfortunately, it won't be uh, implemented until the beginning of our next session, which won't come until January. But in January, we're going to walk the aisles and we're going to get on 
either side of the aisle and try to make sure that we have everybody on board because it's needed. And the other thing that I'm proud of is because I'm on the LCI committee, which is labor, commerce, and industry. So this bill will probably come to my committee. So that's going to be a, a, a great help as well. Well, we will look forward to all the progression that is to come on this issue. I want to thank you both for joining us. Thank you so much for taking the time.